Hello and welcome to this section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. Here we're going to continue working integrals that involve these logarithms that pop up. And we've talked about how they pop up and what you look for. And here we're just going to work a couple of extra problems to give you practice with how to work these types of problems. So let's go ahead and do a, a definite integral. Uh, in this case, let's do an integral from 1 to 4 of the following nasty looking quantity. 1 over square root of x uh, times 1 plus the square root of x dx. Now prior to this point in calculus, an integral like this you know, should uh, frighten and scare you. you know, I'm just kidding a little bit, but it does look a little bit intimidating, right? I mean, you've got square roots going uh, running around, they're wrapped up in you know, some parentheses on the bottom, and then the entire thing is on the bottom of a fraction. So that's just kind of ugly. Um, so what I always suggest, and you know you don't have to do this, but what I always suggest is that anytime you have little square roots like this, always write them as powers, fractional powers. Uh, it just helps me visualize what I need to do. So let's just take a moment before we do any calculus to write this as x to the one half on the bottom, parentheses, one plus x to the one half down here. So it's the same integral, just written slightly differently. Now, we know we're going to need to do some sort of substitution, right? We, we suspect that just because usually when integrals are any more complicated than the most basic ones, you're going to need to hunt around for some kind of substitution. So like I've said in the past, you know, you just need to kind of do trial and error and get some experience with this kind of thing before you really get good at figuring out what is going to actually be the right substitution. But we can hunt around and do some educated guessing. If we chose this entire quantity in the parentheses as our uh, u, then if we take the derivative of this, the derivative of this would be uh, 0, so it wouldn't be anything, and the derivative of this would be 1 half times x to the negative 1 half because you subtract 1 on the exponent when you take derivatives. So ultimately, if you use this as u, you're going to get something involving x to the 1 half at the, in the end of the day, which if, depending on how you flip it around when you plug it back in, might cancel with this one out here. So it's a little hard to wrap your brain around that, you know, just by looking at it, but at least at a first glance you know that, hey, if I take this derivative, there's a chance that it'll cancel. So my advice is if you think you have a chance, go ahead and try it. And if it doesn't work out, if you don't get the cancellation, if it doesn't simplify, then you go back to square, run, square one and try something else. So for now, let's go ahead and say that u will indeed be equal to 1 plus x to the 1 half. Then du dx, the derivative of this with respect to x, this will be 0. This will be 1 half times x to the negative 1 half because we take 1 minus the exponent. And 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. All right? So then what we're going to have, to save space a little bit, I'm going to write the simplification over here. dx, solving for dx, is going to be equal to what we're basically going to do is take this whole thing and move it over there. So basically what we're going to have is 1 over 1 half x to the negative 1 half du. Just think about it. You move the dx over here and take this whole entire quantity and move it underneath to, to solve for your dx. Now this looks a little ugly with the fraction on the bottom and all that. So we'll simplify it. We'll say that dx is equal to the 2 can flip on the top. And look here, the x to the negative 1 half can also flip to the, to the top. So you have 2x to the positive 1 half du. Make sure you understand what's going on there. Basically, since you have 1 over 1 half, you can flip this fraction over and the 2 will go on the top. And since you have